M0FXP, welcome to my videos on the Zygu X6200. Today we're looking at the FT8CN app, which is a free APK that you download. So I couldn't see it on the Play Store, but I'll put the link in the description. You just click it and download it to your Android device and open it. You get yourself an OTG adapter, which you can see just here. Just put it into Chrome or Amazon OTG adapter for USB-C and then connect your USB cable in the normal way to the DEV port on the right hand side here and then into the adapter. Go to settings and start at the top. So here we've got, just try and zoom in. And I've got the, the phone on its side. Sorry, it's not the clearest image, but anyway, all we've got here is the call sign at the top and then scrolling down, IO81 is grid square. I didn't change, I'll only show you the ones that I've changed. Okay, I did tap and select 7074 is the one I actually selected. Uh, so select the one that you like. I mean, it does have cat control, so it changes it anyway when you start using it. You saw it do it then because I'm already connected. I didn't change any of them. Yes, I did have to select CAT, so make sure you select CAT and USB, because this, you know, and I haven't tried it yet, will work over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but we'll stick to CAT for now. And didn't change any of this. Board rate, I left at 19200, but I did select the radio, so you tap it, and I selected X6100. Can't think of anything else. And that's it. And then there's no save. You just go to the decode page. Now, there is one thing that you need to know. When you plug your device in to your device, you see it's gone into error there. You plug it in, as you can see, and you get two choices. And you need to choose the bottom one, okay? The bottom one. And then it connects. I found that works. No problem at all. Then you select decode. And you've got spec, if spectrum doesn't show, there is a spectrum thing here. Now, one way I got it transmitting was I literally just select, held my finger on one of the stations, like so, hold it on. And then I had the option, they are call. And it went into TX, you watch in a second, it will start transmitting. There's a time on it. And you've got a CQ button here as well. Now, I haven't used this app for literally like over two years. Being patient now, so it starts to transmit. It doesn't, or maybe we might have to tap that little speak. No, it's done it. Okay, that's fine. It's now transmitting. Okay, got an antenna connected there. I've had to, it's a bit dark in this room. I've had to turn off all my LED lights because if I turn them on, we don't get any signal. So for those of you that think the bands are dead, no, it's all the bad LED lights in your shack or your house or your kids with their LED lights in their, LED lights in their bedrooms. So you can see it's working great. I'm brand new to this. I'm just gonna tap away. Look, you can get, get the full screen waterfall as well by the looks of it. Back to decode, I prefer this one. There's a log there. It's only been running for a couple of minutes, but you can search. Spectrum calling. Now, we've got a couple of... Let's tap that speaker. I, I think the speaker stops it calling, I think. Oh, no, news. Right, and... When it's receiving good state, let's do a, a frequency change. There you go, you see that? Back to decode. So check it out. The more I learn about using the app, the more videos I will make. But look, if you look here on the screen, I'll try and pick it up. You can see the actual call signs. I mean, it's hard to film a screen, but the actual call signs are on the screen. 
I think it's fun. Bye for now, 7-3.